Hello everyone, welcome to the fifth part of my Mega Ancient tutorial. In this part we will be adding a boss, Metal Man to be more exact. I'm not going to code any AI because that's really up to you. Uh, it would just take a lot of time to do that and uh, yeah, it's different for every boss so... And it works the same in pretty much every engine. So I'm not going to go over that but I am going to go over how exactly to set up a boss and a victory screen and whatnot. So let's just get into it. First, of course, we want to add uh, the boss sprites. You go to boss, you can create a new folder called uh, metal. I'm only going to add two sprites, the standing sprite, which th the normal idle sprite, which may when metal man is standing, and the posing sprite, which is a little pose he does at the beginning where your movement is locked, the health bar goes up, and then he just sort of does uh, a little pose. So let's say sprite metal stand. Right, there we go. Let's see, um, I recommend uh, for the Y origin taking the height minus 16, so in this case 8, because it's easier to place it in the room that way. And now we're going to add another one sprite metal pose. Metal pose 8 again. Let's try to line up the X origin a little bit. Let's say 12 is fine. Okay, there we go. And we want a mask. So we're going to go ahead, duplicate the standing sprite and say sprite metal mask just color everything black and there's your mask this is the collision mask for uh, the boss so now to actually uh, add the boss we're going to go to object boss and could have uh, create a new folder called metal and I recommend duplicating object Pharaoh and then just removing its AI. So it's got object metal. There. The mask is metal mask, as we've discussed earlier. And parent should always be parent boss. Uh, so if you create one from scratch and not duplicate an existing one, be sure to parent it to that one. Right now, in the create event, you want uh, pose is the posing sprite, which we discussed earlier. So here it is, sprite metal pose. Pose image speed is the animation speed for the pose. I think this is fine. Contact damage is the amount of damage that uh, the boss deals when uh, the player touches it. Weapon ID is the weapon ID in the pause screen. Can be found in Object Global Controls Create Event. So let's go to Object Global Controls Create Event. And we can see that the metal blade is number 4. So, as discussed in the last part, uh, this is actually another example of when to use the number uh, for the weapon. So it's 4 in this case, this uh, indicates to unlock the weapon. Speaking of unlocking the weapon, let's just not unlock it on default. Um, let's say here, false, so that the middle blade isn't unlocked by default, so that we can unlock it through beating the boss. Okay, let's go to the create event again. Um, Cloud that bus ID, the ID on the stage select screen, the top left has an ID of zero then it goes clockwise so the left panel's ID is seven the middle panel's ID is eight so that means that on the uh, level select or the boss select I should say which is stage select there Th this is ID zero one two three four five six seven eight so in that order so it now depends on where we want Metal Man. Let's just put it in the original position, right there, which has an ID of 6. So let's say bus ID is 6. 
right? Now this is all uh, Ferriman stuff for the AI, so we're not going to do that. Uh, bus weapon. It's not Ferro Shot, it's Metal Blade. The bus, metal, uh, bus weapon name is Metal Blade, in all capitals. And then the primary uh, color, the primary color, dark and uh, secondary color. Now these are the colors in the, uh, the weapon gets screen. So the Jive Mega Man has three colors. If we, uh, yeah, it has one uh, primary color, one shading for the primary color, and one um, secondary color. Secondary color is the shirt. Primary color is the helmet. So we can go ahead to Object Mega Man's use the Define Zero event uh, and copy these two. These are the primary and secondary colors, and then we all we have to do is decide on shade. So this is primary color. Let's copy this and paste it over here, and the secondary color. Let's paste it right here. Now, as for uh, the shading of the primary color. Uh, that's something you probably have to do in the image editor, but I am just going to use a normal primary color so that it has no shading, simply because uh, I do not currently uh, have the time to go to the image editor and find a color myself, so I'm just going to do that. Here are the damage values, how much damage the boss takes from each weapon. Uh, you can just say this yourself, as we all know, Mandel Blade in normal mode at least is insta kill so 28 for the metal blade uh... Ferro shot let's say f normal is free charge is 9 i don't know it's another weakness i suppose uh... so tarmac 2 is fine and midstorm 2 as well so there we go um, step event, event inher inherited once again leave it there Glow the frozen as well and if is fight equals true this uh, is the AI. So whatever is uh, in is fight equals true. Uh, that indicates that the boss is actually fighting and not in a pose animation or whatever. Let's see. Yeah, so there's nothing in between there except we're gonna say sprite index equals sprite metal stand and else just reset the animation or something animation speed or something when uh, the screen is frozen. And draw you also want event inherited. So there's that. Now we can uh, add him to our room. Let's see. You're on test level, there it is. And let's just create a new section with uh, the boss. So first let's add the section borders, Next screen, top screen, right screen, bottom screen. I'm not going to create a hallway right now because that would take uh, too much time, but you can of course do that yourself if you want. Um, there we go. Let's see, you can of course just add a bus door for effect. I recommend doing that. Let's place a bus door right there. And now let's just create a nice room for our little friend Metalman. Not going to make it super fancy or anything. Just a bus door. So, get solids here. Four uh, above the screen, of course. And let's add solids here.
And now we can place Metal Man in the room. And what you also want to do is go to boss, boss control. And this also requires create event. So let's go to, uh, I mean, to cre I meant creation code, not create event. So music, uh, of course, that's music that plays when the boss uh, ends. And then the weapon bar colors. I, I'm just going to leave this to the default. If you do not enter anything, it goes orange with white, but you can enter these in the creation code. As for the music, you really need it. And if you have a volume that you want to add or a loop point, then you can add that here as well. So all, I, all I'm going to do is do the music. Make sure that you do not uh, right click this right here, uh, because it can accidentally uh, add the creation code to one of the section borders. So you want to place it on its own tile where there is nothing. Just uh, well, let's not do boss, let's do title screen. I know it's, it's completely unfading of course, but it works. And now if we test the room, it should work, I think. And there you go. I forgot that one. <laughs> uh, of course, since we added the laser trident, we also want to do damage laser trident equals... Let's just make it 28 so that it's over with <laughs> more quickly. And there we go, we killed it. And there we go. Everything set up there. The metal blade is unlocked. If we restart the game by pressing F2, you can see that the metal blade was not unlocked by default. So the weapon unlocks, you have a victory screen and everything, so yeah, that's rather easy to set up. Now of course we also want to uh, make the stage select work. So let's add a disclaimer after room in it so that we actually go to the stage select. And let's also add it to the stage select. Now, uh, first you want to go to backgrounds, actually, go to menu, and then background stage select. Here you need to add uh, the name of the boss below the tile. Now, you can find this on Sprites Inc., the Sprite resource, or whatever site you use to get the sprites, you can just uh, get it from there. I don't have it right now, so I'm just going to write down in crappy handwriting. Metal... Man, super crappy, but yeah, <laughs> I do not have uh, the actual sprite currently, so I'll just have to do it with that. Uh, y you should be able to do it fine by just downloading the sprite. Um, and then we are going to go to, let's see, menu in sprites. And then to stage select, we want to go to uh, sprite stage select icons, and we can already see Faroman there. We want to add Metal Man uh, to, as you may remember, we had the ID of 6, so we're going to add it to 6 there. First, let's just open it in separate sprite, Metal Icon, once again you can get the sprite from Sprites Inc or Sprites Resource or whatever as well. 
Now that we've copied it, we can delete it and paste it there. Over 6. There. Now we also need to go to Objects menu and then uh, Object Stage Select. Let's see, nothing in the Create event. In the Step event, uh, this is just uh, moving around the cursor. But if we go down, uh, select the stage. We have K7, Pharaoh Man. We copy this and say K6. Which is uh, Metal Man. And it's not currently the only selectable boss, because there are two now. Right, so destination level. Uh, that's a metal man's level. In this case, it was room test level. Introduction boss equals metal. Uh, and then the background colors of uh, the boss introduction screen. So uh, there is the background color, and there is the color of the moving lines. So I'm just going to use the primary and secondary color uh, of the metal blade weapon. So we're going to copy this once again from much of Magman's use it find zero and add the web uh, the colors here. So primary is going to be the background and the secondary is going to be the line color. And that's it for this one, I think. Yeah, nothing left to do there. Now what you still want to do is uh, go to... Where is it? Uh, object introduction. Let's see, create event. You want to go here, where it says case pharaoh. And say case metal. Stand sprite is sprite metal stand. Pose is sprite metal pose. Post uh, animation speed is once again this one, and the name is Metal Man. I don't. I think that was it. I'm just going to check real quick if there was anything else. Nope, that was it. So if we now run the game, make sure that disclaimer is after room in it. Now see Metal Man with some crappy handwriting below it. If we select this, we can see the bus introduction. And now we are in the level where we can once again defeat him, but we already displayed that earlier. So yeah, uh, that's it for bosses, and that's also it for this tutorial series. Uh, thanks you guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Watching, I uh, wish you good luck if you decide to use this engine and uh, happy game making. See you later.